Hi everyone, it's Crafty Hippie. Today I'm going to be showing you the shaving foam technique. Um, I've had lots of fun this afternoon trying to make a video um, that actually works. Um, I've managed to get ink everywhere, so I've just covered that up. Uh, basically, what we're trying to create is a lovely marbled pattern um, that you can use for your cards. You can punch parts of that out, you can have a square that's your focal piece, um, you can do a bigger area here. Um, this is my favourite, this is one that I'm yet to put up on my blog. Um, and basically you just get this lovely sort of tie-dye effect. So we're going to give this another go. Uh, this is my, I think about my fourth or fifth take. The ones I made just a moment ago were absolutely ghastly. Um, I ended up with a very sort of 70s looking piece and I just got ink everywhere. So we'll give it another go and um, even if it doesn't work out, you'll get the idea anyway. So I use uh, takeaway plastic containers. They're really handy. Um, I've used these for the tie dye effect with the baby wipes and um, you can use them for so many different things so they're worth hanging on to. So I put some shaving foam in one of them. I've got a spare one that I just put to the side that I can throw my clear blocks and my spoons in so that they're easy to take to the sink and wash because it is very messy. Um, and you'll need ink refill bottles. Um, I, I'm finding with this technique, the brighter the colour, the better, but obviously you need to have a go and play with it. So here's my piece of cardstock. I'm going to try not to get my fingers all over this one and um, we're going to give it a go. So the first thing that you do is you put some ink onto your block. Um, and there's a couple of different ways of doing this. You can do one colour per block and do a big sort of smooshy pattern. Or you can put several colours on one block. I'm just rubbing my hands because I don't want to get ink over my projects that I've already made. Um, you can put more than one colour on, on one block and then print like that. But first of all, we're going to just try smooshing it over a big piece. So you get a little bit of shaving foam. Mix it into your colour and you just go over your card cardstock and then you get another block i'm missing some blocks here by the looks of it i think they might be over at the sink i have to just go and get those in a moment and um, next some daffodil delight get some shaving foam spread that about mix that in and then again, just smoosh. And then last but not least, I'm going to do pink, which is Melon Mambo, which I'm not a pink girl at all, but just recently I've been loving Melon Mambo. I'm not sure I've put enough ink on there, but we'll see. But it is very bright. Oh, yeah, that's going to be okay. And then just smoosh where you need that. And then you get a piece of card or an old credit card, anything like that. And you just scrape the shaving foam off. And it has basically, it's dyed the um, cardstock underneath in the pattern of the shaving foam. So there we have it. So you put that aside to dry and then you can use that as normal. Um, I think we'll leave it there because we've had a successful take. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.